Practice problem one asks us to make some comparisons of absolute or relative values for some of the school's data that we looked at before. Let's start by going ahead and reading in the school's data and taking a look at the data frame. So the first thing that we need to do is to make a new total number of students column by adding up the males and females columns as we did before. And it looks like we now have that information that we need for Part A. To calculate the fraction of students that are economically disadvantaged, we just need to divide the number of economically disadvantaged students in each school by the total number. Alright, let's try that. Now we see fractions instead of whole numbers. To create a histogram, it's quite easy. All we need to do is to just pass the vector that we want to plot into the histogram function. So let's use hist, and first we will do the total number of economically disadvantaged students, which would be the school's data column for economically disadvantaged. And here's the plot that appears over in the plot pane. To compare this, now we need to create a histogram, but this time we want to use the fraction disadvantaged. And as you can see here, this is much more of a normal bell-shaped curve because it's not skewed by the fact that there are a small number of very large schools and a larger number of small schools which causes the number of economically disadvantaged students to be skewed independently of the actual fraction.